affiche une certaine proactivité de part et d'autre. Yes, sir. Mohamed Mahdi from Le Quotidien de Rang Daily Newspaper, and he has two questions. The first one is, um, what distinction do you make between what's happening in the Nigeria, in the uh, in, in Nigeria, and also in the Sahel? Do you think is the same level of dangerousness? And what is your assessment of the situation? And the second question is also in, a, and he's using the conditional. He says, in case there is an outbreak or th there are problems in Sudan, what for of assistance and help uh, do you provide for or are you planning to provide Sudan with? Okay, uh, to get to your first question, which is a good question, it really comes down to um, the spread of extremism and terrorism. I mean, when you look at uh, Niger, you look at the Sahel, you look at other areas in that path on the continent, and I think they're all connected. They're all bad. Uh, how bad is a relative thing? And, um, but, you know, there are concerns because, you know, terrorism, you know, affects us all, you know, and, uh, and, and, and it's all our responsibilities to combat that because it's, it's protecting our citizens, protecting our peoples, and to prevent this spread. I mean, car bombings and, and assassinations and hostage taking and all that stuff is just plain wrong. And so regionally, uh, the African nations are, are dealing with it. We're helping, we're asked to help. Uh, when you get down to the Sudan, you know, who knows what's going to take place? Uh, are we looking at it? Yeah, we're looking at it. Uh, but we're not going to do anything unless we are requested to assist. And probably more on the humanitarian side of the house than anything else. And that's really about as specific as I can get into the Sudan at this case, or at this, this, this time. Is there any request whatsoever to um, have uh, headquarters for U.S. AFRICOM in an African country? <laughs> I, you forgive me, I laugh because this question comes up all the time, both uh, yeah, worldwide, okay? So I'll, I'll give you the answer as I know it. Uh, first of all, uh, there is no decision, no desire to move the AFRICOM headquarters. I mean, General Ward's been pretty clear on that. He's he wants to get beyond that and just get into execution of the mission. Uh, as far as my headquarters go, Vicenza, Italy, that's where we're at. That's where we're going to stay, uh, which means we do a lot of travel to, to make the mission happen, but that's okay. Uh, so there are no plans now, in the future, or in the past uh, to move AFRICOM uh, into the continent. And, and that's really where we're at at this stage. Uh, we're more interested in getting on with uh, our mission of cooperation and, and helping with security and stability on the continent. Let us say that a group of U.S. diplomats is kidnapped and taken hostage by a terrorist group in an African or in a, one of the countries of the Sahel. What would be the reaction of the U.S. Africa? Would you negotiate or would you conduct a military operation? <laughs> um, I'm just going to let you know that, uh, you know, U.S. policy is pretty straightforward. Uh, we do not do uh, concessions uh, to hostage takers. Okay, after that policy, uh, that will be a decision that will be made at the very highest levels as far as what we will or will not do. So I'm not going to go any further than that other than our policy is we don't do concession. And, and I, I just really can't go into specific speculation because that's all it would be. Each of these situations, when they come up, are different. There's different facts bearing to the, to the situation and different actions that could or could not be taken. And so, you know, not really in my lane to get into to that level of detail. Yeah, you're, you're like the hard guy question asker, aren't you? Okay, now I, I do have to let you know that, you know, driving up and around the area here, went by your uh, 5th of July uh, stadium, uh, very impressive soccer stadium. I'm not going to mention last year's World Cup, okay? I'm not going to mention that. Uh, but uh, it is pretty impressive with uh, Qatar getting the, uh, the World Cup for, uh, for uh, was it uh, 2022? 2021? 2022? Uh, very impressive. And uh, I'm a big uh, World Cup fan. Uh, I have to be. My wife is German, so I don't have a choice in the, in the household. And so it's always a challenge when the U.S. and the German teams play, you know, it just makes it very difficult living in my household. But uh, 
Uh, I do appreciate your stadium. It's a beautiful stadium, and I look forward to uh, future uh, World Cup uh, competitions here between the U.S. and uh, the Algerian uh, team. Yeah. So listen, thank you all very much for your time. Those are very – you got one more question? Okay, so you're not going to let me cut it off, huh? Okay, I'll take it. Jamal Jalal is from Al Bilad Daily newspaper, and his question is: Further to your discussions with Algerian military uh, officials, uh, what are the inculcate words, the results, what is the outcome of your discussions, and what's the way forward? Ah, that's good, good, good point there. What what we're working on is uh, future exercises in uh, in fiscal year 13, uh, doing a, an exercise on humanitarian and disaster relief. Uh, and also an invitation for some of the military leadership to come up to uh, visit my headquarters in Italy uh, so we can have those discussions. And then I, I pretty much laid out some of the Army missions and training missions and cooperation that we're going to be doing this year. But uh, there's other services that are involved, uh, you know, your, your Navy and your Air Force uh, that are working with, uh, with the U.S. Air, uh, components as well for other type of training. So. Uh, the bottom line is um, continued engagement and agreement as far as uh, some of these future activities that are planned and uh, the potential for future exercises here uh, in Algeria. And so uh, it was very productive and, and very enjoyable. Uh, I've enjoyed it, uh, and I look forward to coming back, depending on how this press conference turns out, of course. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I appreciate your questions, and I hope I answered most of them okay.